So having seen the causes and symptoms of uh, cancer foot pipe, we'll see what are the diagnostic modalities or investigations required to find whether one has foot pipe cancer or not. So when patient develops difficulty in swallowing, which is persistent or it is progressive, say initially he was able to munch or swallow solids with difficulty, now he is requiring some water to push it down. Later he is able to swallow only semi-solids, then definitely you have to consult a gastroenterologist and get an endoscopy done. So endoscopy is a small tube, the caliber, the diameter is less than a centimeter which has a camera at the end, which can go through your mouth, through the throat, into the foot pipe, visualize whether any growth is there, if anything is there, we can find the extent and then take a sample which is called as biopsy. So that can be seen under microscope to prove whether it is cancer or not. Now many people ask, sir, I am very very afraid of uh, undergoing an endoscopy. Is there any alternate procedure for this? Yes, we do have alternate procedures like something called as capsule endoscopy, a small pill which has a battery cap camera within it. When we swallow, it slowly goes down through the foot pipe and once it reaches the stomach, it will be excreted through the uh, stools. But this will be recorded through a Bluetooth connectivity outside which can be seen in the computer. Yes, definitely we will be able to see from where to where, if at all, growth is present is there. But the main disadvantage is we cannot take the sample of tissues to prove whether it is cancer or not. The other modality called as virtual endoscopy like CTs, it's a kind of CT scan but virtually we will be able to go inside the foot pipe and see whether any growth is there but again the disadvantage of this is definitely biopsy is not feasible endoscopy though it may seem to be a difficult or a threatening procedure it's not that complicated and the advantage is we can be able to prove or disprove whether it is cancer or not only with a routine endoscopy now having found the growth present in the esophagus or the foot pipe we need to stage it so if there is a cancer we need to find whether it is in an early stage like stage 1 very very early stage 2 when it is restricted only to the organ from which it is arising stage 3 it has spread to the lymph nodes nearby and stage 4 it has spread to other organs so what can we do we can do a CT scan of the neck chest and abdomen or newer diagnostic modality is to do a PET CT See the PET CT, the speciality is it can identify the cancer tissues. So sometimes it can be missed in CT scan also, but it can be identified in a PET scan. Other than this, routine investigations like blood investigations, ECG, echo, everything may be required before subjecting the patient for further treatment modalities. So two most important investigations for esophageal cancer is number one endoscopy along with biopsy. Second one, it's a CT scan of neck, chest and abdomen or the PET CT of the whole body. Thank you.